I'm supposed to be getting married to the greatest guy in the world right now. Well, then why aren't you? Bastard! You know that you're a bastard! I wasn't alone in that room, Olivia. I didn't kiss myself. Shut up! Would you just leave me alone? No. You think that I wanted you to show up at my room drunk? Attacking me again? Losing control again? Is that the only way you know how to relate to a woman? We're not teenagers anymore, Olivia. No one lost control. That's not true. You kissed me right back. That's a lie! You're such a liar! You know that? You're not upset because you lost Buzz. You're upset because you finally have to face the fact that you were with me and that's exactly where you want it to be. I felt nothing for you last night. Come on, Olivia. Why won't you believe me? I didn't want you in my hotel room. I have never wanted you. It's a tragic mistake that you and I even know each other at all. We do know each other. No. I know what I need, Jeffrey. And it's not you. Buzz. Buzz is good. And he's decent. Buzz is, Buzz is everything I'm not, okay? I got it. But Buzz is also the guy that just dumped you. Because of you! Yeah, that's my fault, right? It's my fault that people are now wandering the hallways, wondering what happened to the wedding we came to. Wondering why, once again, did Olivia's plans fly off the rails, wondering what's next? Maybe you should be asking yourself the same question. I don't feel anything for you. I never felt anything for you, and I never will. Do you understand me? Let go! Or what? I'll rip your eyes out. I don't know, Buzz. I don't know. I don't know. Real works for me. There is nothing between us but a lousy history. And a beautiful daughter. Who probably feels like dirt right oh, now no, close no, to you. No, don't lay this all you on me. You ruined me. You ruined me. So I am standing here a complete mess instead of toasting my new husband, and it wasn't just that kiss last night. Okay, go ahead. You destroyed any shot I had in a normal life 20 years ago. Well, I better hurry up and do this, because I'm about to lose my free booze privileges. Are you ever going to stop playing the victim? I'm sorry, do you think I enjoy feeling this way? I think you might get some satisfaction out of it, yes. Playing the poor, pitiful me card over and over again. Don't you dare assume to know how I feel. You know, you... you kissed me today. I was confused. My marriage is just blown up in my face. No, no, not yet. How can you be? You know, I feel like a bastard, okay? I feel like a bastard for all of it. That's why you're gonna still need that dress. What? Yeah, because I'm going to go to Buzz, I'm going to sit him down, I'm going to set him straight, I'm going to put this whole thing back on the dress. No, you're not. No. I am not going to be responsible for ruining your life yet again, no, Olivia. No, wants, wants us plenty, isn't it? Isn't it? You think this is funny. You can't fix it. You can't fix it. No matter how hard you try. I have been trying for 20 years to fix it. It doesn't work. It's not too late. Oh, it is. I've done everything. I've done everything. I've tried to get rid of it with men, men and money and booze. I've tried to ignore it and stuff it down, leave it behind. I can't. Don't you get it? What you did to me is a part, not just a part of who I am. It is who I am. Why does this have such a strong hold over you? I don't know. I don't know. 
All I can tell you is I can't let it go. Do you even want to get past this anger? What? Well, you keep bringing it up. The hurt, the anger, the outrage. What do, you, do you think I enjoy it? No, I don't. But I do wonder if on some level you don't need it. Because there has to be some reason why you won't let yourself heal and move on. I have been living with so much rage inside of me for so long, and no one to direct it toward. All I have, all I have is this alcohol-tinged memory, you know, of this teenager, this kid, really, who led me up to a bedroom and took off my clothes. And I thought for sure that I'd never see him again. And certainly if I did, he would have to be a full-grown monster. With horns and a pitchfork. Oh, why not? He sent me to hell. And it would be so easy to wish the worst things on him and to want to hurt him the way that he hurt me. And that's exactly what I tried to do to you when I found out that he was you. You still have your moments. Can you blame me? Why do you think I didn't want you anywhere near Ava? You don't deserve it. But then I saw something in you. Something that scared me. What? You were kind to her. You were kind. You weren't totally evil. To if you had even that much good in you, it changed everything. I think I hate you more now for taking my anger away. And I have tried so hard to walk away from this. And if I had any sense at all right now, I would take off. You know what, I don't like to predict the future, especially now. But I have a feeling that um, one day somebody is going to come to you after I'm gone to try to make things better for you and tell you the truth about me. That you're not missing much. That I'm stone cold heartless. Maybe technically they were right. Half right. But I hope you don't listen to them. <sighs> if you do, then you'll never know what you did for me. You'll never know how much you changed me. I'm so blessed. To have you, I'm so blessed. You know, you told mommy about about love. You told mommy about gratitude, real gratitude, and so many other things. But you know something? You're strong. You are strong, and you will survive. And you are going to have so many people who love you. I'm just not sure how I'm going to get through the next bit of things without having you by my side. My angel, my sweet, sweet baby. Oh, I love you. I miss you so much. <laughs>